Module 15. Input Pins Have a look at your micro bit. You will see a row of gold boxes. These are the pins. You can connect crocodile clips to these pins and they can transmit data from and to the micro bit. For example, you might want to connect a speaker to your micro bit or a second micro bit and transmit data between the two. Each bar is a separate pin. For this, we're just going to use the large ones that are labelled 0, 1, 2, 3V and GND. 0, 1 and 2 are the main pins for connecting other devices to, or, as you'll learn today, you can use as inputs. 3V is for power. If your micro bit is directly connected to a computer, then it can power another device by connecting the 3V to the second device. But then the circuit needs to be completed by also connecting GND, or ground, to the same device. You don't need another device to use the pins as input. If you hold the ground pin with your right hand, between your thumb and forefinger, then with your left hand, hold pin zero between your thumb and forefinger. The micro bit will detect that as an input. Obviously, you then need to program your micro bit to do something based on that input. The blocks for detecting pins on input are in the input menu. There is a container block on pin P0 pressed. Like forever and on start. Put blocks within that that you want to run every time that pin is pressed. You can select one of the pins from the drop down box. In this program, pin 0 and 1 have blocks. When pin 0 is pressed, a heart will appear. When pin 1 is pressed, the message, you pressed 1, will be output.